right? They'd come, you know, I remember Nimrod came to me and he was like, you know, the kids, they really want to go soul winning and I think that's of the Holy Ghost and I don't want to quench that. I knew right there. He said that to me on the other side of this wall and I knew right there, this guy's done. It's just a matter of time. That's one of the reasons why I was like, this guy's just not getting it. He's just never going to get it. So all the stuff that I'm hearing he's saying about me and about other people must be true, even though he's not going to admit it, right? But he's really like this. And if you think about it, fanboys are the same way, yeah. right? Fanboys, what do they say? They walk through the store and before they get to the end of this partition right here, every one of them, 100%, every one of them, what do they say? We, yeah, Pastor Anderson. And we, look, I don't have a problem with Pastor Anderson. I like, you know, I, one of the reasons I'm here today is because of his preaching. Okay? Okay? But look at verse 14. It's, or, I'm sorry, look at the end of verse 13. We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preacheth. You know what the fanboys say before the end there? Hey, we greet you by Jesus who Pastor Anderson preaches. <laughs> and they never grow beyond that statement. Before they get, literally, I'm not kidding, before they get to the end of that partition there. I'm serious. I, I, I don't know. I'm keeping track of all the visitors this year, but I want to know what happens to one of them that says that, like when they get to the carpet here. Does that make a difference? I don't know. I don't know. But that's what they basically say. Hey, we come to you. Because we've heard of the Jesus that Pastor Anderson preaches. And we heard that the Jesus you preach is close to his. Yeah. And what happens is they come here, and I think their ears just close up, and they see YouTube up here instead of me, <laughs> instead of you, and they, they just don't hear a word they say. They don't hear a word that Pastor Anderson even says. Because a lot of times they come in here after calling Faith a Word. <laughs> and they talk to Brother Corbin, you know, and they're like, hey, is there a church like yours anywhere in Idaho? And he's like, yeah, Shield of Faith Baptist Church. Right? You should go there. Amen. And they say, yeah, that's great. And then they come in here and they're like, this isn't Tempe. Yeah. <laughs> right? But they think they're so hardcore. They think they're going to go out in the world and just slay dragons and, you know, cast out demons and get people saved and do all these great works. But what happens to them? One, what happens to 100% of those people? They ring that bell, and they never come back. And they never come back. And look, we want them to come back. They're not devils. You know? <laughs> they're, they're not bad people. We want them to stay. But they've made a decision in their hearts that they're going to remain fanboys, new IFB fanboys, instead of becoming a fanboy of the Lord Jesus Christ, 